which DNA test should you take to help you discover more about your heritage and connect with your family members? I can help you with that question. Hi, I'm Diane Southard from Your DNA Guide, where we teach you how to use your DNA test results to connect with your family and explore your roots. There are actually two different kinds of results you receive from any DNA test you take. The first are estimates of your ethnic heritage, the places and cultures with which your genes are connected, and a list of relatives who've tested at the same company. So which test should you buy? Let me give you a couple of things to consider. Find out which tests are available where you live and in the parts of the world where your relatives likely live today. Some testing companies don't ship their DNA test kits everywhere. Next, find out how many people have tested with the companies you're considering. The bigger the crowd, the more likely it includes people you'd be connected with. Next, does the testing company allow you to transfer your DNA test from another company into their database? That's usually a less expensive way to put your DNA in lots of places. So consider testing first with a company that doesn't let you transfer and then transfer those results to a company that allows it. Price is absolutely a consideration, along with any shipping costs and any add-ons the company offers that you might be interested in. Watch for sales around major holidays so you can get a good price on the test you really want. Also, some people have a strong preference for the testing method. Some tests use a cheek swab while others require a saliva sample. So what are the top features of each of our DNA testing companies? Ancestry DNA is known for its super detailed ethnicity reports as they're able to compare your DNA to over 2,600 different regions. They also have the largest database. With over 25 million people tested, their odds of finding your long lost relative are pretty high. Ancestry DNA also has excellent tree building tools, though some of these features may require you to have a subscription. MyHeritage offers ethnicity estimates for over 2,000 world regions, including several Jewish populations that other companies do not test for. You can transfer your results directly into MyHeritage from other companies and access that match list for free. You can pay a modest fee to access other tools that you'll probably find useful. MyHeritage also has a very strong tree building tool, though to access it, you probably will need a subscription. If you're interested in ancestry reports as well as health insights, 23andMe may be the pick for you. They do provide excellent ethnicity breakdowns, and for a fee, you can get your health reports as well. However, 23andMe does not have a built-in family tree builder tool, but with 14 million people tested, there's a really good possibility that you'll find a relative you're looking for. Family Tree DNA caters to folks who want to be more involved in the DNA community. You can join a project based on your surname or location or cultures. And while their database may be smaller than the other companies, you can transfer into their database for free and access that match list. The real strength of Family Tree DNA lies in their direct line testing that isn't offered at other companies. So which test is right for you? After considering all the things I've talked about, it really depends on your goals and what you're hoping to discover using your DNA. If cracking the code on your ethnic heritage is your goal, Ancestry DNA or MyHeritage DNA might be your best bet. They break down your ethnicity in crazy detail. If you're looking for long lost relatives, do some detective work and see where your ancestors might be from. Then consider testing with the company most popular in that region they'll have the biggest pool of people to match you with. If building a family tree is what you're after, Ancestry DNA and MyHeritage DNA are both fantastic choices. They have tons of tools to help you map out your family history. Just remember, you'll probably need a subscription. I hope you're feeling just a little more confident about choosing the right DNA test for you or for your loved ones. If you're interested in learning more about DNA testing and how to use it in building your own family tree or learning more about yourself, make sure you like this video and subscribe so you won't miss out on any future videos we make here at Your DNA Guide. 
Thanks for spending this time with me. I encourage you to keep pursuing your family history. It's worth every minute you're spending on it. And thank you for letting me, Diane Southard, be your DNA guide.